Oh my gosh, he's not even fighting wow, back. I crippled his health. Again, YouTube's this is Beanie Bomb, and welcome again <laughs> to Fallout 3. So, some of you may have seen the uh, Fix Your Game Bethesda video that I did. However, um, if this works this time, however, uh, I did mod this game a crap ton, um, like the uh, unofficial Ultimate Fallout 3 fix, and I think it's working now. I actually got to the point where you were a baby. And then I stopped, hence the uh, continue thing here. Um, but yeah, if this works, I might delete the uh, please fix your game Fallout to Bethesda video. Uh, but if not, whatever. So, let's uh, do a new game. <laughs> it's actually really funny. On uh, the please fix your game Bethesda video, I, uh, I was like, let's actually sing over this song. Because uh, it's probably copyrighted, so I don't get striked. And I got striked. So, um... You're gonna be hearing a uh, beautiful kazoo rendition of this song right here <laughs> uh, uh, With me singing on top of it, so I hope you enjoy <laughs> Don't want to set the world on fire <laughs> I just want to Also, I have a uh, new setup, so hopefully my uh, audio is oh, good, because before I had it really close to my face and it was covering like 90% of the screen, and I moved it. I think it sounds actually better now, but anyways, back to the song. <laughs> Okay, now you don't have to endure that amazing kazoo cover of I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. Um, forget the band name currently. But yeah, I'm not thinking about, uh, or I'm thinking about not deleting the Please Fix Your Game Bethesda video because um, it has the proper intro on it. Because <laughs> in this one, I kind of just jumped into this because I've tried recording this game so many times. <laughs> and I've said my intro so many times. Oh, man. I'm excited for this game. Hopefully it works this time. I'll be saving quite frequently. Uh, so that way, if it does crash, I can just reload it. No problem. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice, to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. Oh my gosh, Fallout 4 looks so fantastic. I only watched a tiny bit, so I didn't spoil it, but... Oh. In the early days, Thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. 
It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Well, here is the point of no return, I suppose. Judgment Day. I think it's going to work, though. I'm pretty sure. Because you hear the heartbeat, and it should turn white. Yes! All right, hopefully it doesn't crash now. Because it seems to work a lot less when I'm recording. I'm going to stop talking about how it works now. Oh, man. I installed some mods, too. Not really big ones. Or... Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, man, Liam Neeson. Oh, my favorite. Um, yeah, no, like game changing mods just like simple ones like uh i think a sprint mod and like a better first person mod or whatever i'm a boy it's a boy a boy we've got a son catherine a beautiful healthy baby boy oh oh james we did it a son a beautiful son You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. If I ever meet man. Liam Neeson in real life, I'm going to be like, Hey, Dad. <laughs> what do you think about... Oh, my name now. All right, cool. It's totally working. That's amazing. All right, my name... Usually for, for video games... Uh, like role-playing games, I put my name as Falstaff, but I guess since uh, this is a playthrough, I'll put uh, my actual name, Tyler. That's a good name, don't you think? Thanks. <laughs> perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Awesome! So, uh, I usually put a lot of work, and uh, not really work, but I put a lot of time into this, um, this character creation here. So I'm gonna cut uh, when I'm finished, and that way you can see my finished product. Also, I'm going to Alt-Tab so I can bring up the pause menu and save the game. See you in a second. And there he is! I call him the Purple Fabio. <laughs> Alrighty, I suppose we're done now. Are you sure you want this to be your You're character? To yes. Look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> I am the purple Fabio. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in the cardiac are... arrest. Start compression. Things... Get the baby out of here. Oh, no. Move! move. Catherine! One, one thousand, Mom! Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Uh. It was always so awesome to me how you started this game being born. It's so cool. Fallout 4's start was really cool too. Before the war. Alright, I'm gonna try saving now. Wait, wait! I saw it auto-saved. That's amazing. Okay, now I don't have to worry about starting over. <laughs> amazing feeling. Alright, coming. Coming, Liam Neeson. Hi, Dad. You can make it. <laughs> I'm so adorable. Goodness, just oh. a year old and already walking like a pro. The game looks so much better than it did on so PS3. <laughs> Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. Okay. All right, Dad. Uh, I installed, or I tried to install a um, Ultimate Texture Pack. Uh, it might have installed. I'm not too sure, but it looks good. I like it. Not as good as Fallout 4, but holy cow, Fallout 4 looks amazing. Okay, it looks like a better, like, uh, Bioshock Infinite, and that's my best-looking game of all time. Okay, now it's time to set our special! Freaking awesome. Alright, how do we want to be? I'm always for, like, laser and plasma weapons. Mostly laser, so... I suppose for strength, which is a carry load, I'll put that to, like, a 6, probably. Alright, cool. Perception. Uh, I believe perception is your AP, so... You want seven for that. Uh, endurance. No, endurance is for AP. So perception is like how far away you can see enemies. Uh, def seven for endurance. Uh, charisma, definitely. And uh, eyes for intelligence. Intelligence is like uh, laser weapons and computers and stuff. Agility might be for AP. Oh, gosh. I don't know. It's either agility or endurance is AP. I'm not sure. Let's try, uh, 
Why not? Agility, it will move fast. No, no, okay. So, <laughs> stick with me, I'm sorry. So, endurance is AP, I know that, I remember. I haven't played this game in years, man. Okay, uh, Ellis for luck, uh, that's pretty good, I'd say. Maybe we'll take down, like, luck, maybe. Because luck is basically, like, loot. And we'll put that into, um, charisma. Or, nah, let's just have it more well-balanced. All right, cool. Cool, we're special. Hey, teddy bear. I named you before. How do you pick things up in this? Is it right click? No, nope. I've clicked space, uh, shift, uh, Q. Whoa, okay, so Q is auto walk. That's good to know. Oh, hey, dad. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Yes, I am. That me right for trying to bring you in. Come on <laughs> over here. I want to show you something. See that? What? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's okay. The Bible. Mm. Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. I don't get it. I always it. loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Let's go play with Amada. <laughs> I'll show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and it's running on a super smooth 60. I love this so much. It's awesome. All right, let's go. Oh, bright lights, my eyes. Nine years later. It's my birthday. I'm 10. You blinded the poor kid. <laughs> Happy birthday! Wow! so fast. Thank you. Happy birthday, pal. This really means a lot to me. Believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. I remember being ten. Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? No, you don't. Here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official. Oh yeah, this is when we get our pit boy. So here you are. That was my As phone, I'm sorry. I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Get out of here. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? You're awesome. Only 10 once, so have fun. Yeah. Strangely enough, I actually remember being oh, nine man. more than I do I being ten. I wish Happy birthday! Thanks, we Amada! We really surprised you, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Wow, jerk. You didn't fool me. I just pretended not to know. Great party, Amada. Thanks for doing this for me. Is it? Or hasn't the real party started yet? I think that's kind of like a jerk thing to say. Uh, we'll do this one. You're such a liar. Okay, <laughs> if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Oh, man. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Um, a date with Christine Cantal. <laughs> just give me the present already. I really have no ha. idea. I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. Oh, man. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Wow. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Thanks, oh, Amada. How do I activate my uh, inventory? I. Oh, I think I drank something. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, overseer man. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. You're a big jerk, good sir. <laughs> she did a great job, but couldn't you have helped that a bit more? Of course she likes me, I'm a really charming guy. I'll do this one because you're a jerk. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. You're a jerk. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Who made you the overseer? I don't like you. I'm gonna There's spill a cup on you. How do you, uh, pick things up? I actually wanna see, uh, hold on, settings. <laughs> I'll probably cut this out. Aha! It's Z! You're in tr- Oh no, my cake! Darn it, man. Andy. You ruined my cake. Alright. Well, I'm still gonna do this. <sighs> Bonk. <laughs> I dropped a cup on you. That's what you get. Yes. Hey, so, what do you think we should call our gang? 
Can I talk to you? It's Butch. <laughs> it's Butch's little kid. Hey, it's old lady Palmer! Freaking in the fifth grade, me and my uh, best friend, Smith. I don't know him anymore, but we made this uh, really gory comment called Old Man Palmer. <laughs> Hello. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting so for your present, So he wasn't present, always in the you? vault. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. I hope you brought me something better. <laughs> we'll do uh, this one. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. Oh boy. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Awesome. Alright, let's uh and that oh. stupid robot destroyed the cake. Hey, Butch. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. I'll deck you on the gabber, Butch. You can have it. I don't like sweet rolls. How about we share it? Half for me, half for you. Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share. I'll do this one. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. <laughs> now, are you going to give me that sweet roll, or am I going to have to give you a knuckle sandwich? I'm going to break your nose into your skull. <laughs> you can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. Here, Butch, spit on the sweet roll. Go soak your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet oh, roll. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> All right. Well, Combat time! How do I fight? I wanna fight. Can I fight? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, controls. I need to learn how to fight. Attack is unbound? That is never good. Uh-oh. Back, 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 back. Maybe I just have to get beat up, but I really wanna wreck his- wreck his day. Please? A little bit? Oh my gosh. I don't think I have an attack option yet. Ah, <sighs> okay. Alright, sorry, Butch, but- uh, No, please! Please, Butch! <laughs> no! Don't do it! <laughs> yeah! Thanks, Dad! Or no, that's Officer Gomez. Thanks, Officer Gomez! <laughs> yeah! What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party! What a jerk! Yeah, man. I'm gonna kill him later. <laughs> He's lucky Gomez stopped the fight before I really hurt him. Jerk tried to steal my sweet rule. It was kind of my fault, no? Your dad's the overseer. Can't you talk to him? Yeah! Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I asked, but where would that leave me? <laughs> it's bad enough being the overseer's daughter. If everyone knew I ran to daddy every time I had a problem, nobody would ever talk to me again. That's true. We'll think of some way to get Butch back, I promise. But I'm not getting my father involved. Alright, Amada. Fair sorry? enough. Hey! You're gonna be it's really coming, sorry Sammy. you messed with me, Paul. I know you were busy. You messed with me! I just ran away! <laughs> Push tab to bring up the pit boy. Ah! Okay, that's how you do it. Alright, uh, skills, perks, general, status, uh, general? Items, there we go. Do I have anything? Uh, aid. Oh, I have a sweet roll. I ate it. Melee weapons increased by one. Hey, I read the com- Probably should have kept that comic for, uh, <laughs> oh well, miss ammo, uh, well, weapons. All right, cool. Neato. All right, I'm going to have to get used to tab being that. Oh, sure. Nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got all right, hey, Dad. Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? Yes. Don't worry, Dad. He tried to take my sweet roll. Actually, I was the one, definitely not, uh, that. I wish we didn't have to invite him, but there just aren't that many children your age in the vault. Mm. In any case, you'll have to learn to deal with bullies. The world is full of people much worse than Butch, I'm afraid. Well, that's unfortunate. But don't let him ruin your birthday. Go on. I bet there's someone else waiting to give you a present. Cool. Let's talk to, uh, Stanley. Hey, Stanley! How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? It's great. Did you fix it up? It's all right. It seems kind of old, though. I hate it. It's good. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Hmm. Thanks, Stanley. Sure, whatever. Yawn. That's really... Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh, yes. I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Gang a little oh, man! I got a hat! Awesome! I'm gonna put this on. Boom. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I have to get used to not pressing escape. Oh, cool! I can look at myself. 
Hey, look at me. I look like a... I don't know what I look like. I look kind of creepy. Cool. All right. Yep. Cool, Leo. All righty, let's, uh... How do I get out of here? Hey, hey. Having a good time? Yes, but I want to go now. I hope which didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Yes, I do. Uh, he tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You should kill him. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. <laughs> oh, man. I've never done this option before. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. But you're gonna get it. But you're probably- you're gonna get your nose stomped in. All right, Butch. Hey, that's Jonas on the intercom. No, I wanna see! <laughs> cooking up a little surprise present. Dang it, Dad. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. All right, just a second. Hey, Officer Gomez! Nice party, huh? Can it. I've had it with you, Butch. Your mother is going to hear about this little incident. Oh, that's what I tell you. It's my fault? We had to invite him. what he said to me. Happy birthday, dearie. <laughs> Quit interrupting oh, me. Goodness. I want to see Butch get his... I hope miss the party. All right, fine. Yeah, my dad and mom threw a great party, didn't they? I'm not a girl, I'm not five. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes, that one. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. Oh, boy. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Indeed. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Oh, man. Just for you. Oh, boy. I hope you like it. What every ten-year-old wants. I will treasure it always. <laughs> of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Sweet. I'm not gonna talk Let's read it. All right, I guess that would be in misc, maybe? Aid? Uh, misc. Apparel, weapons, ammo. Uh, I guess not. Okay, gosh dang it, I have to get used to pressing tab instead of escape. Hi, tell my mom. Big oh my deal. goodness. <laughs> we don't have missed it for the world. Well, no, just remember, I'm keeping that my eye on you. That like a son to me. Yeah, Butch, you're gonna get it. <laughs> I wonder what that'll do in the future, but that's cool. Alright, let's go, Dad. Okay, or you can just stand there. Neato. Alright, uh, which way is the, uh, thing? Here? This way? Nope. Oh, it's, it's super locked. Okay. Uh, I guess this way, then. In the reactor level. That's right. Alright. Down we go to see Jonas, my man. Jonas. I love Jonas. Hey, Jonas! What are you doing down here, young man? <gasps> I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid, I'm 10 years old. Can it, Jonas? <laughs> oh, but Dad told me it was okay. We'll do that hey, one. relax. I was just teasing. Oh, Listen, Jonas, you kid are you? Now that you're 10, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Alrighty. Come on, Dad. Oh, wow. He could probably teleport. That was pretty quick. Are you ready for your surprise? I am. Kind of surprise. The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Oh boy! Your own BB gun. No way! It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Awesome. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You That's know a how good tough amount it is of time. To find a spring that small. Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you, you think? Kid are you kidder you? To give it a try. You broke his switchblade. Awesome BB gun. Maybe now we can attack and I can beat Butch to the ground. <laughs> here we can't shoot a gun here. What do we get to kill? <laughs> it's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Alrighty, let's go, Dad. Let's do it. I hope this isn't too boring. <laughs> hey, it is the first episode after all. Ugh. Okay, now we get to kill some rad roaches. Or, no, we get to aim first, then we get to kill rad roaches. <sighs> well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Awesome! Thanks, Dad. This is so great. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, You're Dad. You're welcome, pal. Happy birthday. Yeah! This is the best birthday ever. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's no, like, Aim down sights. This is zoom in. Weird. All right. Bam. 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 Ah! Oh! Ew! They look so high, high def in the PC. I hate bugs. Get wrecked. Uh oh! I missed. Oh! Gotta zoom in. Boom! <laughs> Shot. 
Okay, that was a headshot, not the one before. Cool. Oh, I didn't do bats. Good Damn work. it. That's one less round roads to deal with. Why didn't I do Let's bats? What's together. wrong with me? Capture the moment. Okay. Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with a big game. Hunter. I want to take a picture of he's all bloody. It's amazing. Uh, what in God's name is wrong with you? <laughs> I remember one time I shot him like to death. And uh, later in the game, like really later on in the game, you see the picture again, and it was just <laughs> so bloody. Oh, I'm 16. Hey, that's a year before what year I am now. <laughs> that's a weirdly worded sentence. Oh. What are you doing? As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. Awesome. You have to go to class to take your goat exam. Oh man. No, you've got a goat to take. Okay, I have a goat to take. <laughs> Do I get to raise a goat? Just kidding, I know what the goat is. If you say so, Dad, but I'm sick, really. Anything I need to know about the goat? Yeah. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. That's cool. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. Will do. You know what the overseer says? We're born in the vault, we die in the vault. That doesn't sound very, Each uh... Just tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? That sounds awful. Okay. Um, I guess... Oh, there's a lot of things. Do we have to die in the vault? Can we ever leave? Yeah. That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Hey, Especially man. Especially not around the overseer. I'm just curious, I okay? I tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. Indeed. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Alrighty. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Sure thing. Uh, is it true? Was everyone born in the vault? Not everyone, because you weren't. Uh, but I suppose we'll ask that anyways. That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Good to know. Cool. All right. Uh, can we talk about mom? Um, I don't know how entertained you guys are right now, though, so I don't know if you want to hear any more um, audio. So, uh, yeah, we'll ask. <laughs> she, she was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. Mm. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. Will do. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. <laughs> Alrighty, if hey, you say so. Hey, my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Oh, wait, I just remember there's a buy option. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Alrighty, bye. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. All right, out we go. Cool. Let's go take our goat. This is cool. Hey, good Jonas. Morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh it's a uh, butch. I'm gonna punch your gabber. Urgh, this is what you get for my tenth birthday party. <laughs> All right, now we use vats. <laughs> Welcome to vats. All right, I suppose mouse one and mouse two e accept. Okay, good. That's all we need to know. Whap! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> amazing. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna knock all of these guys out. Please, uh, mm. Come on, get him! Boom! This is the the good old whap and and back up technique. Oh, oh, oh come on, punch! There we go. Boom! Oh, <laughs> I just crippled his head. I fractured his skull. Oh, come here, Butch. Critical strike on Butch. Oh my gosh, he's not even fighting back. I crippled his. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna spam that so the second he gets up, second he get- Oh, yes! Can I- Oh my god, alright, here we go, I'm gonna kick him in the crotch. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, Butch, you poor soul. <laughs> oh my god. This is what you get for my 10th birthday party, you loser. <laughs> Hey, Amada. Thanks for getting rid of them. Asshole. I fractured some of those skulls. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, man. Freaking losers. Well, Butch doesn't look like he's coming to class now, doesn't he? Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! You get down! You get- you get down! I didn't tell you you could get up! Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> okay, I think that's a sign that we should go now. <laughs> Okay, how do we, uh, how do we sheath our fists? I don't want to walk in fists up, like, ready. Uh, oh, okay, I couldn't do it. All set for the ghost? <laughs> it's gonna punch the Trust teacher, me. Mr. Potts. It Potch. really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Oh my gosh, that's the most fun we've had this episode. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sick. No, sure, I'm ready. I'll, I'll bet I'll ace it. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. Oh. <laughs> we'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Neato. All right, to our seat. Um, I usually always on roller coasters in class. I like the second thing. Oh, it looks like the better first person didn't install. Ah, whatever. As, as long as the the fix works, I guess that's good. All right, I'm ready. Mr. Butch, you all right? Doing okay there? You you want some uh, encouragement to get you through your day? As soon as everyone takes their seats, we can get started. Okay, we were waiting for some uh, students. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Butch. He was just recovering from that brutal things. beating he took. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Butch. All right. <laughs> I think he's stupid because I shattered his skull. <clears throat> Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. Oh. What's your response? Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, but doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization and efficient singularity? Yeah, if yours too, buddy. <laughs> Say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. Raleigh you knew he's planning to blow up the vault. Say nothing but slip away before... Yeah, that one. Question two. Oh my gosh. Working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. Oh no. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. <laughs> the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Well, I'd obviously amputate the foot. Question two. <laughs> you discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? So he was in position of stolen property, but he is uh, lost. So confiscate by force and leave the boy there. <laughs> Pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen property and leave him to his fate. Leave the boy to safety and then turn him into the. Why isn't there like uh, take the object and then hide it and then uh, take him to safety and then be like, hey, overseer, I found this on the floor or whatever. I guess I'll just give him a hug. <laughs> Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Oh yeah. Which position do you prefer? Hmm, pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, none. You wish the Vault had a soccer team. Um, I always liked the bat, but I do prefer soccer more. I was in uh, baseball for a while when I was little. Uh, soccer is fun. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill a Oh my gosh. What do you do? Um, obey your elder and kill the resident. <laughs> no. Uh, offer your best prize. Ask Granny for a minigun instead. <laughs> Throw your tea in Granny's face. Yeah, that one. <laughs> old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. Oh, old Mr. Abernathy. How do you proceed? Uh, probably pick the lock. I actually know how to pick locks. Some simple ones like bathroom locks and whatnot. Uh, so I'd probably do that one. I'd go to the armory, cherry bomb, and explode it. Uh, walk away and let the old coot rot. Okay, pick the lock. Question seven. Oh my gosh. Oh no. You've been <laughs> exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. Oh no. What's the best course of treatment? Bullet to the brain. Large doses of probably that one. Prayer. Removal of the mutant tissue. 
Ah, gosh. Um, I don't know. Probably both of these. Uh, I do this one and then large doses. Probably lazier. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. Oh, man. What's the best way to obtain it? Barter and exchange. Yeah, this one. Uh, let's see if the other one steal it by gunpoint, sneak into the quarters, uh, slip some knockout. So all of those are stealing except for the barter one trade. Good, do that one. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Um, something harmless that doesn't actually hurt them, which is what a prank is. You two pranksters, I'm looking at you. Okay, loosen the bolts on some pipes, then sink is turn on, the restroom will flood. No, that's awful. Put a firecracker in the toilet. <laughs> Break into the lock medicine cabinet and replaces. Oh, oh my! Kill your dad? That's not a prank. Maybe the power waters the razor, so we'll get electric shock. That's just harmless. Question ten. Who is indisputably the most important person involved? One hundred and one. He who shelters us from the This guy's an egomaniac. And to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. The overseer. The overseer. The overseer. The overseer. Oh boy, I wonder if like one of these does different things. Uh, we'll pick the third one. Pencils down, people. That's it. I'm not Look holding a pencil. Uh, I have I'm a pen sure though. You there you go. So bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget <laughs> to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. But you can't you fail. You told me. To celebrate or to pray, as the situation warrants. Awesome. How cool would that be? Go to school and wait. I've actually done that a couple times. Go to school and take a couple tests, and then you have the on. day off. It's like finals. Hello. Hey, Hello. I'm turning Hello. in my test. Vault loyalty inspector. What? I thought that had been phased out decades ago. Well, sounds like a job right up your alley, hmm? That sounds like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> like, hey, the overseer. All right, that can't be right. Listen. I was just as obnoxious at your age. <laughs> I didn't take the goat seriously. Look where I ended up. Teacher. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. Oh, man. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Oh, wow. Just let me know. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so a lockpick, melee weapons, and speech. Definitely speech. Um, definitely not melee weapons. Uh, I'll go for energy weapons or small guns. Probably small guns. They're pretty... Uh, abundant, but energy weapons are cool. Uh, this one, small guns. Uh, lockpick, maybe. Barter, uh, definitely. And medicine is good. So we'll do these three. Uh, so that way we can talk and get what we want. We can heal ourselves better and we can get better prices on stuff. Cool. Done. Thanks, man. You're the best. Get out of my face. You want to get a decking again? I shattered your skull like twice, dude. I'll punch you in the head more. Look at all this blood. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three years later. All right. I think that's a good place to end it, though. So after we get through these, uh... Wake up. Come on, wake up. No, I can't yet. This is an important point of the story. Come on. You've got to wake up. Not yet. <laughs> okay. So that was episode one. Lots of boring stuff. Uh, getting through just the growing up and, uh... Otherwise, you probably should have skipped this episode, but if you watch all the way, that's impressive as heck, and uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know how you think on these uh, unedited series. Uh, I'll bring back Bioshock. There's a heavy request for that. Thievable, I know you're watching. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode in Fallout 3. Goodbye.